Yo everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is episode 2 of going over all the short antennas. I figured since both A-type and Tilted are somewhat smaller than like B-type, I'd do both of them in the same video. And it's also kind of useful to have them included together because uh, A-type is the same as Tilted basically. Like Tilted is A-type but just Tilted slightly to the left. Uh, so it, they're both A-type, I guess, but one is just tilted A-type, so it makes sense to pair them together, I feel. And then, yeah, that will give us this distribution, which is a pretty nice one uh, to work with, I would say, because it's never here. Like, B-type could have been, like, there's a bigger range on B-type versus A-type uh, and tilted. So it's pretty, it's easier, because you never have to think about east, but you still have to latitude guess it, so... Yeah, uh, and one thing just before I start, because I forgot to link this in the previous uh, video, but this was the sticker thing I was talking about. Uh, uh, these rather, not this. Uh, this is Illusion's sticker dock, and you can kind of see what I mean from this map by Kazakhstan border. And I think I used it on an Altai Cry round, or else it was like a Kemerovo round or something. But as you can see, it's way more common here and then it's very rare here like they're all almost never except for penza i think is pretty common uh but yeah uh that's that i uh, just figured i'd mention it uh and yeah so this is what we're working with there's two well there's one sponge i've got two sponge locks that we can use on this but it's not the most useful because it's just it's a nice confirmation but landscape alone should be enough because if you can see where the smudges are it's not really near anything else of similar latitude and this is a different antenna because this is this is tilted blurred but then the smudges are on on blurred tilted uh so yeah i'll just show what that looks like so we've got this here which is front right of the car uh but again it's it's useful because you can see an npc uh there goes my voice you can see an npc to identify the antenna npc which is more useful than this because like to me anyway, this is clearly south with the tree rows and the flatness and everything. Uh, so it's just a nice confirmation of region. Uh, and then here's just an example of it still being visible in cloud. And there it is, but it's a little bit harder to see. But you can still see it, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, this is A-type. Some cursed stuff up here, but that's fine. Uh, then we've got... Oh, this is all tilted, including some cursed stuff here. Uh, and then this is blurred versus unblurred. Uh, yeah, so blurred, Volgograd, Krasnodar, Ufa, or here. So it's very separated areas from each other. And as long as it's not urban, that should never be a 50-50, I hope. Because if we look at Volgograd and compare it to Leningrad, it's like very different. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah. Then unblurred is a little bit harder because it's more of a continuous line, but we have make coverage to help with that, uh, which kind of splits it between Ryazan and Leningrad, uh, because this is all make coverage, uh, as can be seen by the trees not being fully grown, and probably some yellow flowers, maybe some yellow flowers, I guess, to indicate make coverage. But yeah, that's that. I guess we'll just get into the map. Everything I have everything on the map except for this coverage, which is very rare because as you like click the antenna like it becomes c type from time to time uh maybe this isn't road isn't the best example of it but okay well that's very b <laughs> but yeah it, the antenna just changes because the coverage was done multiple times uh but yeah i don't know why that's tagged like that but it's it, there's some tilted here like this is tilted but it very quickly, like there's three different antennas in the same town, so I didn't bother doing it because I'd have to handpick every location uh, and include it in the map. Uh, yeah, so that's everything, and I think maybe this Moscow stuff might not be in the map as well, I'm not sure the exact stuff, but I know that this stuff is, uh, and there's a, maybe there's a chance that there's some non-A-type and non-tilted, but uh, yeah, we'll conquer that when we get to it. But yeah. Okay, I've got training script on. I was playing Spain 
uh, yesterday and the terrain map is very very useful for Spain so I was learning with that. Uh, okay so we have A type and if we just go to where A type is, uh, wrong one, this one. Uh, so we've got a few main areas, so here, 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 and here. Uh, the trees won't put us south really, like pine trees and probably some birches, yeah. Uh, so that's nice. We have fireweed, which, I mean, it will eliminate here, but again, we've got too many trees for here. Just if we coverage check uh, here, like, yeah, it's just way drier. And then it gets harder when it's urban, true. But again, the vegetation is shorter. Uh, and then here is way more open still and still feels kind of dry. And we've got some really cool red soil. Eastern Samara Hills are super cool. Uh, but yeah, here it's a little bit harder, but this is about as not dry as it can get. Uh, as humid as it can get, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, it's still a different vibe. The grass is different. And yeah, the fireweed is useful here. A uh, fireweed also, I would not send Bryansk, Kaluga, Oriol with. Uh, which, if we take a look at this, uh, it probably just puts us in Smolensk, unless it's Leningrad. Uh, but it doesn't feel forested enough for Leningrad, but it could just be cleared a little bit because of the road. But again, this is kind of a hard 50 50. Uh, but, I mean, Angle is probably good for Smolensk somewhere, hopefully. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not really seeing it, so maybe it is Leningrad. But, I mean, A-type is kind of just Angle Guesser for me. Uh, I mean, that looks decent, but... Okay, it's actually Bryansk with Fireweed. Interesting. I mean, it's Max Northwest Bryansk right next to Smolensk, so it kind of makes sense. But it's still very, very rare to have Fireweed and Bryansk. Uh... Okay, A type again, not tilted, uh, big road number 333, three, three. uh, so then again, if it's a big road number, it's kind of just angle guessing, and I think this will be South Smolensk angle, maybe, uh, oh, it's slightly off, actually, uh, but again, it should be this one, like, it's not far enough for Leningrad, I don't think, uh, and also the big road number would be kind of weird. Just because if you look where the coverage actually is in Leningrad, it's like, I mean, it could be on big roads. Wait, maybe you're here. Wait, <laughs> have I covered checks for 5k? No, it's a little bit different. But actually, it kind of looks like Leningrad, to be honest. Uh, but fireweed. Yeah, this stuff is very weird. Maybe this is more northern. Uh, okay, I'm going to try Leningrad, but maybe I've just been gassed up by looking at it there. Uh, so then this road, I guess. No, what am I doing? Okay, just North Smolensk. Uh, that's a skill issue. <laughs> yeah, but for the most part, you wouldn't really send a Leningrad. I would just try and ignore its existence, and you'll be correct 95% of the time because of how much other coverage there is in Leningrad. This is a divided road, so it's this angle. Uh, so that works nicely. Uh, and then... Hmm, not fully certain on this one, but again, it's not very forested, uh, it's just kind of forested, and then it's too forested for Samara Orenberg, and it's still regular A-type, okay, might have to work on the distribution slightly, uh, what am I doing, I'm scanning for an angle, so yeah, it's just scan for an angle, uh, and then see what works, uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Oh, it's this road. I kind of thought about that road because it was a little bit uh, thinner of a road, I guess. Like down here, it gets fairly thin. But uh, yeah, it's uh, this area is very hard to get the Oblast, but you're guaranteed bordering Oblast because there's only four Oblasts for coverage and they all... Unless you guess what if you If you guess Kluga, Bryansk, you're guaranteed bordering. Uh, okay, first tilted, but it's a little bit cursed because it's urban. Uh... Hmm. These trees don't feel too north to me. So then, I mean, it's not May coverage, right? So then we're between Ryazan and uh, Leningrad, basically. Unless it's because it's unblurred. So then if we do unblurred, and then, yeah. So this is the 
on blurred stuff. So it's Riazan or you go St. Petersburg. Uh, or this area. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's urban. I can't really pick out any particular vibe. Uh, it could be St. Petersburg. It doesn't feel super, like, nice. And St. Petersburg usually feels fairly nice. So I'm going to try Riazan then. Uh, works. Uh... Okay, this is another case of angle guesser, and we have fireweed. Uh, but yeah, it's not very forested, so, but we have fireweed and stuff, so maybe smart. But the amount of fireweed this time, I think, will put us in Smolensk. I think with this much fireweed. Uh, and okay, I know this road becomes divided randomly in places, so uh, I'm just gonna assume that are somewhere near there. But yeah, it's not mapped as divided, even though it is. Okay, this will be tilted, uh, and then we have Petrovka. Uh, hmm. So yeah, we have tilted. It's not forested enough to be Leningrad. Uh, so then we have Ryazan, Tambov, Penza, Saratov. Not really sure how to region guess this for the most part. Uh, it doesn't feel very dry. Like, we don't have, like sunflowers so probably leaning away from Saratov. Uh, the wildflowers don't really fit that much for like max south and also like rolling hills won't really put us in Stavropol. Uh, so then that's eliminated. Volgograd would be blurred so it's not that. Saratov would feel drier and have sunflowers so then we're left with Tambov Penza or Tambov Riazan Penza. Uh, unless I'm forgetting one. Uh, yeah just these three. Just because, like, if you look at the coverage here, uh, this is very dry. Uh, no sunflowers in this example, but it's way drier, I would say, like, just looking at this. Uh, and then even here, it's probably a little bit drier. Uh, and also a bit hillier. Saratov is quite hilly. Uh, but, again, it looks kind of like that, but I would think it's just close to it. Uh, so, maybe thinking of Tambov here, but I'm not really sure. Okay, it was Riazan. It was just South Riazan over past meta. Uh, but yeah, again, you're kind of guaranteed bordering on last year because it's not dry enough for Saratov and then Rolling Hills, not really. And then, yeah, uh, it's hard to get. It's like, this is like, this, these antennas are hard to get the Oblast, but easy to get the region, I would say, or easier to get the region. Uh. But yeah, let's keep going. So this is tilted. Uh, or, well, I know it's tilted because it's May coverage and there's no A-type May coverage to my knowledge. So yeah, it's tilted. Uh, looks like it's a pretty big road. Uh, so if we're looking at the May coverage within this, uh, it's a decent area, but again, it's a nice northwest of Moscow one. Like, as long as it can't be anywhere here or whatever, which is, like, yeah. It's just a nice, like, nicely narrows down the region. Uh, as to which road, uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Like, I mean, like, if we look at, like, the coverage, it could just be random Moscow. Uh, this, not, none of the angle makes sense. So I kind of thought it might be this road, uh, because of the angle. But that's kind of just angle guessing. Uh, but... Yeah, it looks like a main road. Oh, I guess we saw the curve. What am I doing? But again, main road. Novgorod has the most coverage, so it's kind of the default send anyway. Or well, the highest percentage of Novgorod's coverage is this. So like, if you see this, like Pliskov has very little. Uh, and then Tver has Gen four in most places, so then there's very little. But then Novgorod has the most by far. Uh, and then what? Why is this tagged as July? What? Okay, moving on. <laughs> I'll have to fix that at some stage. Uh, but it's, look, it's the point of pass. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of just like, you know, the road, the north-south angle. Uh, and then very straight road, like there's another very straight road here, which is sunny C-type coverage. But yeah, like you can just kind of learn the roads here, especially when it's a main road like that. But vibes-wise, it's quite hard to distinguish between Tver and Novgorod, I feel. Uh, okay, this is tilted and blurred, so ever so slightly blurred on the antenna, and 
Yeah, I mean, I forgot to explain the uh, what which antennas were which, uh, but I kind of did that in the last one. But as you can see, the angle is slightly to the left here. Uh, if you just look compared to the road line, this is slightly to the left, so that will make it tilted, and then it's a bit blurry, so we'll call it tilted blurred. And then as for where, so obviously it's not forested enough, and there's like dry bushes, and it's quite open. So it won't be Leningrad. We also have a big body of water to the west. Uh, so the it's quite it's relatively easy to road streak uh, Volgograd because I mean these two like so w one looks like this one like it's very dry and overcast. So we won't be on this one obviously because we're not overcast. Uh, so then there's this road, which is kind of ever so slightly cloudy and it's driving like vaguely northwest for the most part. Then there's this road with the zero clouds with a uh, nice pavement and then east of the river it's the same thing but like same clouds but worse pavement. Uh, same all the way up to the border still very very sunny coverage. Uh, so then you're kind of like this all sides of it is overcast or very dry like this. Uh, so then we're probably thinking this road or this road because we've got clouds so it won't be this road. Uh, and then if we just look at the angle, it should put us on this road. But again, without clouds or anything, you could probably get that it's this road anyway, with just with the angle, because like this is southwest, uh, or this is northwest, this is northeast, this is west, and then this is very, very dry. So, but clouds are a nice confirmation, but yeah. Okay, now we've got sunflowers and we've got tilted. Uh, I don't think that's blurred, even though it looks... Maybe suspiciously blurred, but I don't think it is. Uh, but anyway, Volgograd would be near to Saratov anyway. Uh, but it looks like we have birch trees and stuff, so I think that's a birch there. I'm not fully certain on that. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of sunflowers, and as I said earlier, Saratov has a lot of sunflowers. So I think that probably feels best. And I guess you tried the Baelish shell coverage, just because if you look at where the coverage is... Uh, most of it's west, and then there's this stuff, which is very dry, I would say. And it also looks like it's overcast, or very cloudy. But how overcast is this? Yeah, not really. But, I mean, I don't use that. Uh, okay, I mean, unlucky to get the wrong oblast there, but, again, you know, it's, the, it's <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite it's quite annoying to oblast streak that, but, again, it's like 4.6k on ABR scoring, so that's more than enough, I feel. Okay, if this is tilted, should be, uh, probably is May coverage, with yellow flowers and this not being fully grown. Uh, I feel like random power line is more Leningrad than Tver and Novgorod and Piskov. I would also associate Piskov with the reddest soil of the four of them, and this is a bit too white to be that. Uh, Moscow is also possible, but it would be more unlikely with unpaved road, I feel. Let me just test my hypothesis by clicking on the coverage. Okay, this is in a city. This is paved. This is paved. This is not really paved, but it's still a wider... It's not a wider road, actually. So yeah, it, they, they exist in Moscow, but like they're more paved for the most part, uh, as you can see. But like if we start clicking here, it just like gets smaller roads, except when I click the highways. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I mean, it's a harder one. I would just click Novgorod because it's got the most coverage, but I don't really know. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, like, I should probably learn the differences because they are quite far away from each other. But at the same time, like in like Team Duels or something, you've got two guesses. You send one Novgorod, one Tver, and you cover everything. Because uh, this covers Moscow and Tver. I mean, Fiskov would have red soil, so like... You don't need to think about that, and then Leningrad are close to Novgorod, so it works. Uh, okay, this feels like it's going to be tilted. I don't know, I forgot Orenburg and Samara are on this map. Uh, so yeah, that's just, I think that's regular A-type, even though it looks kind of tilted. I think the car itself is kind of tilted, because the road looks a bit lopsided. Uh, so yeah, this is quite dry coverage. It's also September coverage, which is kind of helpful to identify, because if you look at September... Uh, it's like mainly south of Volgograd, or else it's this stuff in, oh wait, I should be looking at this one. Uh, so this is September, and then this is October. 
uh, well, October, we can forget about. This is probably B-type as well. Yeah, it's B-type. Uh, uh, okay, so then, yeah, it's probably just this area with September. Uh, and then it's also fairly dry. We might be seeing some red soil, but again, this is like deserty grass is enough for us. But without the red soil, probably thinking more east within Orenburg, because the west is the redder soil area. So... I hate this oblast. <laughs> I mean, it's not Max Fest, but like, yeah, Orenburg's a cringe oblast in my opinion, uh, because it's region guessing is fake. Because you'd think it would be like, I don't know, like here sometimes looks greener than the west, like exactly like what, like this is more into the desert, and then it's like this, like <laughs> it's I don't know, it changes too quickly, and then this is very dry. But again, this can get quite dry from time to time. Uh, seemingly at random uh but yeah it's it's a weird oblast but yeah you saw red soil there so it's like i don't know i hate ornberg uh yeah i guess we'll do another one okay this is a type not tilted or anything okay this is maybe the kind of lock i'd consider sending ah, i guess it's too hilly yeah i guess it's too hilly to be leningrad because if we just do a zoom in on uh, like Leningrad for let's just go a type I guess uh train it's pretty flat I mean it's not super flat but like it's fairly flat if you click it you know uh so yeah but if we go to say Kaluga we've got way way hillier uh as you can see so I'm gonna try Kaluga with the hill and it's also got the most a type coverage as you can see uh because yeah. It just has a lot of it. So Kaluga's kind of the default guess. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, it was Kaluga. But yeah, it's very hilly all on the Oka River. Uh, which is a nice one to know. Uh, I cannot tell what antenna that is. I'm not going to lie. But we have sunflowers. So that's helpful. Uh, we don't even need to know the antenna type with sunflowers. Because it's not fall coverage really. So it won't be here. So then it's kind of just probably Saratov again. Uh, I might try the same guess in Saratov because it kind of hedges for everything and it's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to try that because why not? Uh, I don't know. Okay, it's again, Southeastern Tambov. Uh, maybe I should be hedging Tambov, but we have some flowers which are more common in Saratov Penza, but you also get them in Tambov, obviously. Uh... But I mean, there's more coverage in Tambov, so maybe I should be clicking there. Okay, we've got a tilted blurred. Uh, why am I confused by this? Okay, it's quite hilly, too hilly for Leningrad. Uh, maybe some sunflowers, I can't really tell what they are. They're just weird flowers, but again, it's not forested, probably not Leningrad. And then it's also too hilly. Uh, like, what's confusing me is here is I don't know the road. Actually, maybe I do know the road. Uh, like, that's the problem with Volgograd, is when you don't know the road. Uh, you go with that, maybe? I don't know. Because if we just look at where the coverage is... Uh, so, like, there's this road, which I zoomed in on. But, like, most of the other ones are main roads. Uh, except for this, but again, this suffers the sunny fate. And the angle is also weird. Uh, so you're kind of just left with this road, which it probably is, I guess. Uh, which also explains the super hilliness because you get closer to these hills and i guess we're looking west at the big hills right yeah the big hills are to the west so these are these which are the kopjor river i think we saw similar hills on this river in rostov uh so yeah it's like this area is very hilly this like eastern ukraine border uh so yeah probably gonna be this road and it was but yeah that's just knowing where the coverage is and yeah it was not a main road, and it was going east-west, and this is the only road for coverage. So, worked out nicely. Okay, not blurred. We've got some pines. We don't have any birches, and these trees feel a bit too dry climate to be... Uh, what's it called? To be uh, Leningrad. So even though we have these trees, I think these are just airdropped trees. Uh, you'd expect some birches in Leningrad as well, in like a forest. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure on this. I think I think Tambov is just the best send because 
it's tilted, not blurred, and I do, it's like it's it's not le it, I don't think it's Leningrad with this vegetation. Uh, and then it's May coverage, so it won't be anything northwest of Moscow. So then we're left with Ryazan, Penza, Tambov, Saratov. Uh, I wouldn't send Saratov with this, to be honest, but maybe. So I guess Tambov is most likely. And oh, I'm so. <laughs> the one. The one time I don't guess there because I swapped my hedge to Tambov instead of here. That's so... <laughs> okay, so maybe that's... Okay, those trees are interesting, but it's just like you can see the little forest here that follows the river, so that's what we were looking at. But it was still relatively open, I would say. Okay, tilted. Uh, fairly... Uh, like, what's it called? Like, barren landscape. Uh... Do we have the uh, Stavropol smudge? Didn't think we would, but yeah, we do not. Uh, so then, yeah, again, probably just the Saratov, Tambov, Penza, Ryazan area, even though these trees felt kind of south, which is weird, but I guess it's just Saratov again. Uh, or I'm going to, I'm going to go on Tambov. Okay. What, what, okay. What am I doing, bro? The trees look too far south, but we didn't see the smudge. Wait, I just, I wait, I looked at the wrong side for the smudge. Wait. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I looked at the wrong side. But yeah, I kind of was coping when I said I didn't think there would be a smudge because uh, I thought there would be a smudge with the trees because these trees are way too scythe feeling. But I just missed the smudge and then pretended like I didn't think it was Stavropol to seem cool. But I thought it was Stavropol, I'll be honest, guys. Uh, I would have came clean as well if I, uh, you know, got it right, I swear. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these trees way too far south, and then, yeah, also, it's weird hill to Stavropol, to be fair. So, I guess, Ilizhavitinskoya, surely pronounced right, hills. Uh, well, that would have been a crazy score if I didn't get bad points on round five. Uh, okay, September coverage, very dry, red soil. So probably thinking this is Orenburg, and I hate this oblast with a passion. Uh, kind of thought it might be this road with the angle. Okay, yeah, <laughs> angle guessing works. Uh, very short trees, so probably thinking fairly northern. We have tilted blurred, so again, I mean, we don't really need antenna here on this map anyway, because nothing else, like, if you're not going tilted, like, you're not going this far north, and this looks super north with the uh how short the trees are maybe thinking some rocks but it's kind of a weird round uh do you have any rocks these are weird i don't know if they're rocks it looks like rocky soil though uh rock there i think unless that's litter and then this looks kind of rocky maybe but again the trees are too short to be anything else i feel uh i i meant to click before clicking spacebar as my cursor was on the 5k but then okay that, that's tough there go my 200 points. Uh, okay, this pavement is quite southern to me. Like, uh, but again, we have tilted. We, It's going to be hard to see the smudge on this round, I think. But, you know, it's somewhere there watching us. Maybe it's that. I'm not really sure. Uh, but again, the same southern tree rows as last time. Just got to learn what these look like. They're very, very useful. Uh, and then, yeah, if we just look at where the coverage is south... Uh, so wait, was it tilted or A-type? Uh, tilted. Uh, so then, yeah, so it won't be here for, uh, obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it won't be in one of the biggest mountain ranges in the world, uh, or tallest, I guess. Uh, so then... Piatigorsk maybe, but you'd expect to see Piatigorsk kills, and we'd also have this much in a lot of the coverage. Uh, then this area, again, it's quite a bit hillier and drier. This area is way drier. Uh, so then we're probably thinking the eastern uh, Krasnodar or western Stavropol, uh, just with how green it is, because this is fairly green. Uh, and then north-south angle also works for this area, even though I got faded by it uh, recently where it was like this north-south angle area, but I don't think that has less antenna. So this, a lot of north-south angle here, 
and we get to the Oblast streak barely, and it was slightly off north side, but yeah, it felt like the border area just for how green it was, because as you go east, the drier, as you go west, the less dry. Uh, yeah. A type, is that, why does that look like blurred even though it doesn't look tilted? <laughs> yeah. Uh, quite rolling hills, quite open. Uh, so not thinking Leningrad. Uh, so then we're just left with this area again. Uh, with how hilly it is, I kind of like an Oriole, but I'm not really sure on that. Uh, might just try that, but I'm not going to try 5k. Uh, it's Kaluga, but again, bordering up that streak. It was too open for Smolensk, I think, which is usually slightly faster, but this is like an opening in Kaluga. But again, I hate that coverage. I should probably learn it, but I am lazy. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Similar hilliness, similar openness. So, again, thinking the same area. Not sure which one is overcast. Maybe maybe we try Oriel with this again. Surely clueless. Okay. Oriel overcast, maybe. Uh, yeah, nice game. If I like 5k to these two, it would have been nice. Because everything else is basically a 5k. And I would have swapped there, but I just trolled. Okay, this is unlucky. Uh... I don't know what bro's cooking. Uh, tilted blurred. Okay, that makes it a little bit more lucky. Uh, probably thinking Leningrad because it's just most likely because I don't know. I mean, this is kind of hard, but it feels more Leningrad. The P stands for Saint Petersburg. True. Uh, no, that's like the most cap thing I've ever said. But I mean, you can go Ufa here. You can go Krasnodar, there. You can go Volgograd. Not really sure. I'm just gonna go Saint Petersburg. Uh, and it's Ufa. I, that was the other option because it felt vaguely north with the soil. Uh, but again, it's just urban hell. It's kind of hard to get the right oblast here. But the hilliness within the city is probably the best clue for Ufa. But there's just not much Ufa coverage. Uh, but if we go to Ufa itself, uh, wait, I'm in the wrong one. The train map on, so let's go into this one. As you can see, Ufa itself is very hilly. Uh, there's some very cool locations here. Uh, as like, you get onto the water, and then if you look at it from the other side, it looks cool. Uh, never mind. I guess we're not looking at it from the other side. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's quite hilly. This should be this should be a good lock, yeah. So it's a very it's a very cool city. Uh, I didn't like. I kind of thought it could be Ufa as like the main thought, but I just don't like guessing Ufa because of how little coverage there is. Compared to say, Saint Petersburg, uh, which is this, you know, it's like, which one are you gonna guess, you know? Uh, but yeah, it, it didn't look south, but again, it's urban, so it's hard to explain. We reset the seed because that was a five hundred point guess. Very rocky, so thinking Krelia, uh, blurred, makes sense for Krelia. Oh, this is really cool, like the, yeah, the flag. That's kind of nice, and then. Bilingual also feels good for this area. More likely Leningrad than Karelia, I would think. Uh, and then Piskov also has bilingual, but it won't have tilted summer coverage or tilted bird in general. Uh, yeah. Could there be a flag on the border? Is that like a thing that they do? Maybe. Uh, kind of lines up. Wrong border. <laughs> 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 Tough. Uh, but yeah, the English sign is more Leningrad, so that's kind of unlucky. Uh, but yeah. Uh, A type, so it's just angle guesser because this won't be Leningrad. Uh, sandiness or this stuff, not really sandiness, might point us more towards uh Kaluga Smolensk than Bryansk Oriel, but that's kind of fake. And the angle looks best here, so I'm gonna try this. And it's Southern Bryansk. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The angle, I mean, we're on the road, it's the M3, but like, I just hate that coverage. Uh, A type looks kind of like May coverage. Uh, this one's a little bit harder to distinguish if it's May coverage, but the soil kind of fits for West. It's like slight pink tinge to it. Uh, or like to Northwest of Moscow. Uh, hmm. Do you go Piskov here ever? It's a maybe a little bit troll, but the soil almost fits. And the thing with Piskov is that it's like uh 
earlier in May coverage. It's, uh, it's later in May coverage. So it's like kind of May coverage, but it's like late May. And it's not tilted. Why does that look like May coverage though? <laughs> it's June. What am I doing? Okay. That explains the soil, to be fair, because it was Western soil. It's like Belarus soil, real meta. Uh, but yeah, Smolensk has surprisingly red soil from time to time as well. But I just don't know why I thought that was main coverage, but you know, that is a gigantuan skill issue. So that is unlucky. Okay, fall coverage, very red soil. A type, so probably thinking Orenberg. Uh, interesting angle. Uh, sunflowers as well. Where do you go with this angle? Is it just north of the city, like here? Could have clicked bin. What is that mapping? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's that's why the coverage ended, <laughs> because it's oh. So the car probably drove further, but it just so mismapped that it's not. Okay, I mean, sure. Uh, this one's a type, and it's quite hilly. Wait, what? That is very hilly. Is it ever tilted? And this is Ufa. But every tilted blurred, and that's never blurred. So I guess it's just biggest hill in Kaluga. Unless I'm trolling hard, and this is Krasnodar. there. Okay, let me look at the trees. I need to look at the trees. Yeah, okay. I think it's Krasnodar. there. Just the trees, and then this house feels very south, like it almost looks Mediterranean. Uh, and we've got pipes, which are also more common south, but it's kind of schizo. And then the hill is just too big to be anything else, I hope. Uh, and then this brick also, like almost Dagestan brick, I guess, usually more south. But again, all our architectural meta is fake, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, so I guess, bro, I don't... Hmm. I don't know if I want to guess Krasnodar here, I'll be honest. Like... No, you gotta. Like, if you don't go Krasnodar with a hill that big, you're trolling. Wait. Oh, it's that. Wait, why did I forget that had coverage? That makes so much more sense. Yeah, because it looked too dry to be Kaluga. So then I was like, oh, it's Krasnodar. But I just forgot. That this has coverage. And it's like the biggest... Yeah, okay, that makes so much sense. Yeah, okay. I just completely forgot that this existed. And then, unironically, Volga River has southern architecture. Uh, it's like a weird meta that works somehow. Don't question me, I don't make the rules. Uh, but like, Ulyanov, Saratov, Samara all have southern architecture a lot. But yeah, this makes so much sense. Because some trees look very dry, which is why I thought, okay, it's not Kaluga. But then some trees didn't feel super dry. So then I was like, how is this Krasner there? So then, yeah, Samara is the cursed mix. And then it's this monstrosity of an island that is extremely baity. Uh, yeah. There's some very cool views of it from across the river if you can get a nice... Uh, why am I looking the wrong way? There's some... I could find the cool views, but yeah, it's a cool place. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just forgot that existed. That is a mega skill issue. Uh, okay, tilted. Uh, probably thinking it's gonna be blurred. Uh, yeah, blurred. Too much trees, so Leningrad makes sense. Uh, yeah, birches everywhere. Nice road. Uh. Not much else to say, I guess. Uh, yeah. Should just be Leningrad then. As to where, maybe like one of the roads up here. Yeah, it's that road, okay. Okay, A type. Again, I don't think it's Leningrad. Trees don't feel very Leningrad y. Actually, it could be, to be honest. This could be Leningrad. Tall sign. I, I I remember making a Oriole tall sign meta like ages ago where it Oriole can have tall signs. So I'm just gonna try that blindly. Uh okay, it's just Kaluga, but again, it's Kaluga is most likely, but Oriole tall sign meta is real and true, I swear. 
because this is a tall one, it looks like. Uh, yeah, again, they look the exact same, these four. <laughs> so that's because more fireweed than the rest, but that's about it. Uh, so that's not blurred. So then we'll be in Stavropol. Uh, and we have the Stavropol smudge, and I won't miss it this time. And then it feels fairly dry. And also like kind of hilly, so maybe the area we had earlier. Which was uh where was that area earlier? This place. Uh so I'm just gonna try the same hills, but yeah, it's the same. It's a bit more easy because yeah, it was very dry that round. Uh but yeah, the smudge is nice, but also it was too dry to be anything else, unless it was Volgograd, but the antenna is wrong. Uh twenty one. Again, I think this is just the angle guesser. Uh, I think this road has the angle. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's also kind of a method for whatever reason, like yellow lines at the border roads a lot of the time, for like no reason at all. And then just very straight roads, so Smolensk, Kaluga, all those ones. Like Leningrad doesn't have super straight roads. Uh, well, it has kind of straight roads, but like this is like Omega straight. This is super straight super straight super super straight yeah but it's kind of just angle guesser uh a type again kind of hilly so probably not leningrad with the hilliness uh so we're back to angle guesser uh this looks decent i guess uh yeah tilted uh don't think you go super south here uh that almost looks like fireweed. But it looks kind of off for fireweed. Like it looks kind of similar, but I think it's just the same color, but it's a different uh, species. Uh, hmm. Very hilly. Uh, so probably thinking Penza, Saratov, Ryazan Tambov with that. Might try Ryazan Overcast meta again. Which would also maybe explain why we have fireweed looking stuff, because it's a bit more north. Uh and yeah. Uh yeah, I like if I'm not sure if it was fireweed, but if it was fireweed, which it might be, then I'm never going anything south of Briozan with that. Uh where'd it go there? That might be, I can't really tell. Uh I think it is. Okay, yeah, so Riazan fireweed, I guess. That's kind of rare. Usually the Smolensk is the southernmost, but I mean, we had it in northern Bryansk as well, but this is the same latitude, so it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, it was also super hilly, so. Yeah, so tilted. Probably expecting Stavropol smudge, yeah. Uh, just to how flat it is, how dry it is, and it wasn't blurred, so. If, like, if, if you think about it, if it's not blurred, then if you're, you're doing, you're like, okay, like, here it's quite hilly, so. You're either like, okay, is it Stavropol or is it Saratop? And it just feels way too flat and dry to not be uh, Stavropol. Even though there's hills, but it's still flat like this. And then also the almost Texas pavement is way more common south as well. Uh, as to how dry this is, east-west guessing Stavropol is like doable, but kind of. Uh, I thought just middle dryness. Okay, it's east, but it's by water, so it doesn't look as dry. Uh, but same thing. Uh, okay, May coverage, yellow flowers, but like actually this time, and I'm not tripping. Uh, again, I think it's just a Novgorod click because it's the most common, but I mean, hmm, yeah, it doesn't look nice enough to be Moscow. I need to look for like a method to distinguish them. I might do that after this video because I don't think I'd be able to find it in like the time we have left for this video, so I'm just gonna click Novgorod, which is the most common. And it's Novgorod. <laughs> yeah, so the meta is it's always Novgorod. Uh yeah, real meta, I swear. Uh hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting that we've got very B. So that's just because the A type and very B type overlap in Moscow. So I'm just gonna click there. Uh but yeah. The road was randomly paved, and also it's kind of a meta, 
like outer lines with no inner lines on a pa random paved road is more likely Moscow as well. And then we have cabbage and uh, yeah, Moscow cabbage real. Uh, okay. Uh, a type feels fairly dry. Doesn't look fully September coverage, although it might be. So maybe it's just Samara. Uh, rather than Orenburg. Uh, yeah, this is ironically like one of the harder Samara Orenburg 5050s. Like the more vegetation there is close, you, the less you can see. So it becomes harder, I feel. I'm going to try Samara. It's max north Orenburg for where A-type is. Uh, as you can see, like actually max north. Uh, yeah. Okay, I am back. I uh, just had to make a cut there, probably. I presume it's going to be cut. But uh, yeah, uh, as I was saying, Max North Orenburg looks like Samara. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're probably thinking May coverage. Uh, hopefully. Uh, a lot of water, or is that a blue wall? Hmm, wait. <laughs> I think it's actually a blue wall. It looks too blue to be water. Uh, we'll we'll see afterwards anyway. Uh, so again, not really sure which one I'd go. Honestly, like the way it's like walled off and stuff, like randomly, like why is this walled off ever? Kind of reminds me more of Saint Petersburg than No Grab to Bear. Could also see Moscow. Trees feel a bit more Baltic like, uh, but I'm not really sure. Uh and it's just Novgorod. Always going Novgorod, guys. It's just OP. Uh Okay, this is May coverage and as we learned, always going Novgorod. Okay, <laughs> maybe maybe I need to work on the distribution of this map. But to be fair, if you just take a look, it's like you know there's not much and it's usually urban and it's like two roads here and yeah uh yeah <laughs> but it's a nice hedge out of it you know that's uh so it's fine okay a type uh it's too open to be leningrad i think uh why do we have near knee flowers hmm interesting Interesting for sure. Uh, okay, so I don't think that's tilted. So A type, how close can you get to Nishini in A type? Wait, do you ever go Kazan? <laughs> or else you just go North Kaluga? No, nah, I'm not. Yeah, you don't go Kazan here, right? Yeah, you don't. Yeah. You go like Kaluga or Oriel. Wait. Let me reinspect this location and look at something other than Nizhny flowers. Okay, so these are Nizhny flowers. I do not know what they're doing in Krasno there. Wait, actually. I remember getting Adi Gay a lot with these. So maybe, maybe unironically, Nizhny, Krasno, Adi Gay are 50 50 with these. But let me reinspect the trees. Yeah, these are oak trees. Okay. I didn't really look at them properly. But if we get closer to them. Uh, we'll be able to see, uh, clearly that they are oaks, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this is why you look at more than one thing in a round, <laughs> we also got, like, Texas Sea pavement, uh, <laughs> hmm, okay, Nishni Flower is interesting, interesting, okay, I mean, I've seen them here before, so it's not super surprising, and then, yeah, the trees are super southern. The way they're just, like, more, like, fluffy. The, like, the way the branches are. Like, they're more puffy trees. Uh, and, yeah. Hmm, okay. Well, we learned that Nishni flowers are here as well. And uh, we'll do one more seed, I guess. Uh, okay, these are sunflowers, not Nishni flowers. And then we have tilted. So, you know what that means. We're going to click Western Saratov. And it's going to be Southeastern Tambov. Uh... 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, I need to click I need to click here from now on. Just click I don't I don't think it's covered in Severka or Malchanova, but I need to click there. Uh because that is like guaranteed four point nine K it seems, because every lock is in southeastern Tambov for whatever reason. Uh but yeah, I mean yeah, I guess with Sunflowers it wouldn't be anywhere else in Tambov and there's also most coverage here. Uh Tilted Blurred, uh, maybe not Tilted Blurred because it's May coverage, maybe it's just regular Tilted. Uh, don't really know what that says. Uh, I think I'd go Moscow here. Uh, Moscow Charismatic, oh, there's like a lot of trucks, wait, is it ever Truck Border Meta? I think you go Truck Border Meta here. Yeah, we've got like five trucks. That's enough to go truck border meta here. Uh, true. Wait, it's just the main highway. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes more sense. So it is trucks, but it's trucks going from between Moscow and Saint Petersburg. Uh, on the second main highway, or maybe they're going to Novgorod, but it's still a divided road, so it's basically the highway. Uh, yeah, truck border meta is. Absolute abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. Uh, okay, very thin trees. Pretty forested. Uh, should be blurred. Yeah, so all that fits out for Kralia with how thin the trees are. Uh, same location as last time, I swear. Yeah, I was here last time. Uh, okay, tilted. Southern trees, I think. Uh, never seen signs like these. Uh... Do we have the smudge? Maybe not. Hmm. Are they super southern trees then or not? Let me reinspect. Uh now we got Brookshire, so it's not super southern, but it's just like Saratov, I guess. Uh with the railway. Uh wait, Saratov bollards, like unironically, like the square bollards. Oh wait, it's railway, so it doesn't count. Uh but uh, you you get them a lot in Saratov, not near railways for whatever reason. I'm just gonna try it. Where was the place of coverage? Is it down here? Is it maybe it's just downtown? Okay, and now we, okay, always southeastern Tambov, guys. Don't even try and region guess. Told it, it's always there. Uh, we might fix the distribution of this map, but September coverage very dry. A type, so we'll go Orenburg. Uh, is it this dry maybe? Oh, it's that dry. Okay, well, uh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll do one more, and then we'll clip around the coverage. Uh, St. Petersburg, big road meta. It looks, to me, yeah, so the main road is there. Okay, so the main road is going east-west, and it looks like it's a divided road because of how big the intersection is. So if it's a big road going east-west, then we're probably looking at one of these two roads. Uh... Not that, right? No, it's not that. I mean, I'm just going to try and 5k, because why not? Uh, it is May coverage, right? Uh, I clicked the script. I don't want to click the script. How do I unclick the script? Uh, or not the script. Bro. Just refresh it. Refreshing will fix it. Right, yeah, okay. Uh... Actually, it's not make coverage, it's just tilted. So then we're probably downtown St. Petersburg. Uh, I don't think it's make coverage, but maybe we're just downtown anyway. But then the east-west roads, it's like, which one do you pick? Uh, not that. Uh, I, I kind of thought it was this road, but I just don't see where the 5k is. And I can't tell if it's May coverage or not. Not that. Hmm. I looked at that already. Hmm. Maybe it's just like Moscow, like this area, maybe? No, I'm turning up St. Petersburg. Wait. It wasn't tilted. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the car is just turning, so it's not tilted. 
Okay. Yeah, and I wasn't... Okay. The toll road, cool. Uh, and I did misjudge the angle, to be fair. But, uh, I thought it was more, like, slightly northeast, not very northeast. Uh, yeah, that's the antenna moment. Uh, okay, I'll do another one. <laughs> uh, this is just tilted blurred. Uh, I'm gonna go St. Petersburg, because it's most likely. It's Ufa again. <laughs> I put a hundred Ufa locations on this map. So, <laughs> it's it's came up right. Way, way more times than it you'd expect. Uh, here, I think you go Leningrad. Wait, why is it so hilly? No, you don't go Leningrad. Yeah, we just trust the hills and go Kaluga. Just random Kaluga forest. That's why it's so hilly. <laughs> yeah, because it felt, it felt north, right? So, it felt north and it was forested. But, okay. We're just getting the curse. That's, that's a hard curse on. Anyway, tilted. Maybe expecting sunflowers, those might be them there. I'm not really certain on that. Uh, but again, I think it's a Tambov click. We've got birch trees. Oh, those are sunflowers behind, I think. Or there's something that looks similar. Uh, actually, maybe Riazan or Penza. I'm not sure what the smudge means. I'm going to try a Penza. Yes. Uh, yeah, it just felt more like Penza with birch trees froze for whatever reason. I feel like birch trees are more common in Penza than... The other ones, and we didn't have Scythe Riazan overcast coverage, and the rest of Riazan coverage is more forested. A type, uh, quite hilly. I think you just go Kaluga here. Uh, and hopefully, yeah, always Kaluga. Uh, this should be Corellia. We've had the same spot like 10 times. Uh, so I'm just gonna send quickly. Sorry, my apologies if, yeah. Okay, now we're on the actual road and. Uh, yeah, okay, so then, can we 5k this? No, nope. uh, hmm. I kind of thought... Hmm. Does, does, does this line up? It does, right? I mean, there's a railway there, but like, it like, hmm, okay, sure, sure, buddy. I guess there's, there's an intersection here, which we didn't see, but I just clicked the first thing I saw that lined up. Uh, yeah, that's that. We got a cursed design. Uh, it kind of makes sense because the forest, like, looked more north than Kaluga, and, but the hilliness is quite hard to think of because, I mean, Kazan is hilly, but it's just hard to think of Kazan. If you look at the coverage, because of this, not much compared to, say, if we looked at Blurred. It's like, okay, buddy. <laughs> Good luck going, because I was A-type. That's the same with Ufa. But with Blurred, Tilted, it's... Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to check if we got every area in this map. Uh, so let's just turn everything on. Like so. Uh... I'll just show you what this area looks like, so, I mean, it's kind of, most of it's urban, so it's kind of hard, but, yeah, it's just, like, more green than Stavropol, but it looks like, it just looks halfway between Saratov and Stavropol with this antenna, and I don't think it has the Stavropol smudge, uh, I presume not anyway. Then this western Kazan area, which is very flat and quite dry, and then we've got more like reedy grass, which is more coastal. Uh, we had a rent here in the mountains, but it's just more forested. Uh, here it's like very different Sochi climate. And then this, yeah. Uh, then I showed you this briefly, but it's quite forested and it is quite mountainous. Then Adigea is cursed, but again, it's usually flat, surrounded by hills. Uh, like the road itself is fairly flat, but there's mountains in the distance, like. The Adige is in like a bunch of valleys like here for example. Like you'll see hills on either side, but they're fairly flat. Uh, and then, yeah, same applies for this area, but it's basically just perfectly flat. And there's like Ermavir ridges, uh, which are kind of cool. Uh, so there's yeah. Uh 
then I'll show Piatigort's kills because I mean I think there's coverage closer to the city where you can see them but uh, you can from most of Piatigort's you can see the mountains but not the locks I'm clicking for an annoying reason <laughs> why can I not see them Okay, we're on one now, but you can see the rest of them. So yeah, it's just these things almost look like volcanoes. Wait, is that Mount Elbrus? Wait, that's so cool. Wow, I've never... That's... Wow. I've never seen Mount Elbrus from this far away. But I think that's it. Right? Right? Yeah. That's gotta be Mount Elbrus. South, southwest? And yeah, it's like... Unless that's a cloud, but it's got the dual peak that Mount Elbrus has. Like, if we look at Mount Elbrus from here, right? It's got, like, it's... It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Wait, that's so cool. I've never... I'm saving that location. That's that's, that's cool. Uh, I'll probably send that somewhere. Uh, that isn't A-type short and tilted. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Bulgograd, we looked at, like, Overcast and then Kind of dry and then northwest angle and all that. Saratov, just more dry stuff. And then Sunflower Heaven over here. It's always southeastern Tambov Meta. And then this whole area looks the exact same. Very straight roads. You kind of line them up. Then we've got the May coverage in the northwest of Moscow area. Then we've just got more northern trees. Baltic Pines looks vaguely Finnish and it's more rocky. You also get these things on the main road from Karelia. Uh, Leningrad to Karelia, and then, so like, it's here to Petrozavodsk, and also here to Moransk. Uh, so if we find, if we go to intersections, for example, like here, then we should see these stickers on any sign, uh, which is a good meta, and you also get them in Gen 4 Moransk on the main road. Uh, then there's some cursed A-type stuff, but, I mean, soil, and the road feels very Baltic. Uh, and then this, it's a little bit harder, but again, it just feels Baltic trees roughly, and also, these are like Finnish poles, so maybe that's, I think they're Finnish poles, they look like Finnish poles, maybe that's a meta, then you've got Finnish poles. Uh, Samara, we didn't get much of, but it's just like, also Sunflower Heaven, but it's like, quite hilly in northeastern Samara compared to Saratov Penza and stuff, uh, and it's just a different vibe to it, but it's kind of hard to explain. Samara pavement is unironically a thing as well. Uh, and this is a bit harder because it's closer to the city. We got this cursed area as well. And then this is a more flatter area, but it's like too dry to be anything else. And it's not September coverage, so we won't go Orenburg. And then we've got all of Orenburg. And we've got Kazan and weird stuff. And then we've got like Orenburg spill with A-type summer coverage where you just click Samara, but the soil is weird, so maybe you go on the border. And then we've got uh, Bugo Ruslan Hills which are these ones here, north of Bukharuslan. Uh, so yeah, that's that, I guess. Uh, that's basically everything, I think. And then, I didn't show Stavropol again, but it's just dry. Uh, and then, yeah, and then, yeah, you can just click down these roads. Like, they all look fairly similar, just like tree rows on main roads for the most part. And then, Smolensk has the most fireweed, uh, as can be seen. Interesting, Vladimir Flowers. Uh, but I think that's Fire Reader, is it not? Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching, I suppose. Also, I was I, I don't think I said at the start of this video, but I meant to. But I'm gonna be uploading a video on the Russia Court NMPC accuracy test, which is like twenty games played of NMPC. Uh, so that's gonna be, I'm gonna upload that after it's done. But if you want to join the Russia Court server, if you're not already in it, and do those, so then you can kind of see your like average score, and then like each month you get an improvement percentage, because it like takes your average score for over uh, like twenty seeds or whatever, uh, so then you get your improvement percentage, and it's a nice way of seeing progression. But this month is NMPC, so it's kind of weird, because next month will probably be no moving. It's usually no moving. Like there's been four no moving ones, and this is the first NMPC one. Uh, but I recorded half of the video of that so far, so I'm going to probably finish that later today, and that's going to be uploaded probably New Year's or the day after it, depends. Uh, but yeah, I'd recommend you do that because it's fun and 
just some friendly competition where you can compete against yourself every month as well, which is kind of nice. But yeah, I'm just yapping. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and peace.